Hi guys, my fellow Sagittarians. This is Ancestral Messages with your general message for March 4th through the 6th. So before we get into details of the message, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Sagittarius for this their general message for March 4th to March 6th. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, one more. I'm using the Mother Mary Oracle deck by Elena Fairchild, then Angels and Ancestors deck by Oracle deck by Kyle Gray, and Crow Tarot deck by MJ Kalini. If you like the content on my channel, absolutely like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, share. Um, it helps the channel be seen to all my returning subscribers. Many, many, many blessings. You have all blessed me tremendously. I hope everyone is safe. I'm feeling loved and secure and hopeful. Days will get better and better and better. Okay, here we go. Our Lady of the Ripening on the Vine. This talks about growth. Growth. To where it's almost, almost ready for you to blossom. Like you still have a little bit more growth, but you're getting there. You're doing the exact, like what you're supposed to do. Our Lady who sends the angels and you're getting messages and you are divinely protected. And I love this. You see the two bluebirds together? I believe bluebirds are signs of peace, messages of peace, love, protection. Okay, so... You are growing and being protected and receiving messages. What is going on, Sagittarians? Let's dive a little bit deeper. Protection Guardian, drop your shields. When I see this card, I'm not surprised when the Eight of Swords shows up in the Tarot deck. There is something that you're being very guarded about, and it's... That's my thing, is that I feel like it's mental cage. See or see beyond the current situation. Um, you're getting messages, downloads... Direction Guardian, choose your path. Two of Swords. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. Which is reinforcing the Two of Swords. And Stag, trust and thrive. The Stag in Celtic is very protective protective guiding energy all right and I feel like whoever this message is for Sagittarians oh I saw the three of swords there reflected back I wouldn't be surprised if Two of Pentacles showed up. So I feel like you're being split in many different directions. But it's not even that. It, it's like maybe information overload. Like most, okay, I am Sagittarian Sun and Moon. I want to know everything, I want to do everything. 
And I like that it shows up, the shield main card shows up. Make plans and focus. Not, and this doesn't go to pick a lean. That's not what, that's not what that means. It just means right now, is this what you want to do? And then make plans towards that direction and do that now. If you want to change it up later, if you want to do this later, but... And it's not about pickling. I cannot stand that phrase. Like, it's so... And it's almost like, because it, the reason I can't stand that phrase, and I will say this, because pickling is almost like it... It's this assumption that our lives are this one straight highway, and... You are only to be in this lane, and you're not allowed to move to any other lane. You're not allowed to grow and outgrow the highway. Any spiritual path that takes you into the desert, up a mountain, over here, doesn't exist. It's all the highway, and it's... It, that's why I just can't stand that expression. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Three of Pentacles. Cooperation, Partnership, Seven of Swords. Thief card. Knight of Pentacles. Everything you need coming on its way. Two Knights, Knight of Wands. Strength. I feel like this is a rescue mission. Queen of Wands. There you are, Sagittarian. Eggman. Seven of Pentacles. There's the other seven. Creation. Creative energy. King of Cups. Someone has love for you. Nine of Wands. Being on the defensive. This could be indicative of when this person approaches, you're going to be on the defensive about this. You're not going to trust this. Page of Pentacles. The Empress, Star, Hierophant. I like this. Tower, Judgment, Eight of Swords. I knew that. Knew that. Drop your shields. King of Pentacles. Okay. This person that's coming in, they keep coming in in different forms. They do. This up here, though, looks like rescue mission. Two knights coming. This goes back to Our Lady Who Sends the Angels. Let me keep going. The Moon, Seven of Wands. The Magician, Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. Yeah, this person, ah, okay, let's go through each individual thing here. Like I said, this looks like a rescue mission. Like you, your ancestors, angels, guides are sending or have sended rescue to you. Three of Pentacles. Three is number of divinity. That's cooperation card. Three is Father, Son, Holy Ghost, God, Man, the angels. There's two, three cards here. Actually, no correction. Three, three cards. Because I think the Empress is here too. Yes, it is. So. Go from cooperate cooperation. There's that thief card. There's that sneaky little thief coming in. Seven of Swords. And I feel like with this here, Three of Pentacles, this was unseen watching your back. Because somebody really took advantage of you. Then you got two knights that show up. This is the angels that have been sent to you. And they have come in the form of knights. 
Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles is slowest moving knight in the deck because it carries all your resources. And then it's not always money. It's mental. It's, it's mental clarity. It's emotional fulfillment. It's spiritual growth. But it's also finances. The Knight of Wands is messages coming in. Um, truth, clarity, wands are words. And this is direction. And it's funny that it showed up, this Knight of Wands card, underneath this card, Direction Guardian. Choose your path. So that Knight of Wands, these two, the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, was angels sent to you. And then on top of this, you got the number eight Major Arcana card strength god personally sent an extra dose of, dose of strength to you this card strength card does not just mean everyday strength this is running out of your own ability to move forward because you're tired emotionally tired you're drained and this is a divine impartation of strength to keep going when you have none left within yourself so this has become like I said, rescue mission. Then you got Queen of Wands. Now, this is your energy. Your energy. And I feel like this rescue mission had to happen before you got to this point. Then the Hagman talks about seeing things from a different perspective. But this is also, it could be stuck energy, and I don't feel like it is. I feel like this is part of this awakening. But at the same time, you do feel stuck, though. Just because you're not moving forward quickly doesn't mean you're not moving forward. And this goes back to Our Lady ripening on the vine. Seven of Pentacles, planting new seeds, new direction in your life. Now, this is when this energy comes in. King of Cups. And this puts you on the defensive. None of Wands. But I feel like... King of Cups. Reveals themselves in different ways. This is the first incarnation of that person. Because they're trying to get close to you. Like they're trying to get you to open up. Get you to trust them. But with what has happened before in this rescue mission... I can see where the distrust comes from, and we'll get to that in a minute. Then you have Page of Pentacles, which is learning something new about yourself. This is that student energy. And here's the Empress. There's that other three card. Number of Divinity. This is standing in that divine feminine energy of really taking possession of your life. Being that guiding force and just being, you know, a mother. This is mother of the tarot. Being that creative force and creating a new life for yourself. New direction. New direction for a new outcome. Like, this is because, and that's coming. The star, this is getting attention. This is also healing. And here's the Hierophant. This is spiritual leader, spiritual guide. That that major arcana number five. I always see this card as catalyst of change. And this really changes the direction. But it does not completely take away this that tower the tower comes down okay and I think I really feel like the tower is this person this king of cups energy and it could be someone that showed up in your life and gave this love offer
but it came at a time where you weren't ready for it. Not even that you weren't ready for it. You weren't interested in it. Maybe too little, too late type of thing. That tower comes down, though, and that tower is very painful. Now, the judgment card is... This is God's final word in the matter. And this tower was forced to come down by an outside source. And I don't even think it's the King of Cups that did it. I think it was somebody else that did this. But this is God's final word in the matter. That means if this tower was forced to come down by an outside source, don't worry about it. They will be dealt with. But, like I said early in the read, I wouldn't be surprised if this card shows up, and it did. Eight of Swords, this is that distrust. Because you, I mean, heaven sent you a rescue mission. They did. Sent you aid when you needed it because you were really in a place where you needed that. You have two eight cards here, which is number of new beginning. But this is, um, I call it paranoia card, but it's not really that. It's distrust. It's being in that mental cage. It's going over and over everything that's happened to you. Now, the King of Cups shows back up again as King of Pentacles. There is someone in your energy that is more than willing to be everything that you need at the right moment when you need them because you need them the moon this is um illusion this is psychic connection this is really that's that divine feminine energy see let's go with these two here the moon that illusion the sun illuminates everything the moon still hides things in shadow and there was a confrontation that happened that's that outside source that's where that tower came down but you were the crow on top of the cliff you felt like you were the one of the ones that fell off the cliff but you really weren't like it wasn't even winning the argument there wasn't an argument to win this was just one of those things of building up a healthy boundary and the illusion had to fall. So actually these three cards go together. This is what happened. So the illusion of this relationship with this outside person and not the one that's there when you need them. There's just this outside person that the tower was this expectation of this relationship and it came down. Because there was still this illusion around it like almost like they could change or they could transform. They could be something different. This is really what was at the heart of this rescue mission, this heavenly rescue mission was because they've done this before. But the tower had to come down. And that's why I said God's final word in the matter. Because, okay, there's two things. One is God heard, and I love this saying, God hears phone calls about you that you don't know about. God's, God hears conversations about you that you don't know about. That's one. Two is he gets tired of that. He gets tired of people being abused and used and especially when they're they're needed elsewhere and this just becomes this continual cycle and he'll step in and tear towers down and i felt like he has done this he tore this tower down because there was still that illusion of oh no this is different this time this person's changed everything's fine um, I go by with the saying of, I have this belief that 
every morning you wake up, you can be a different person. You can change. You can be a better person than you were the day before. My son added to that. And he said, yeah, if you want to, you have to want to first. But see, this is the thing. You manifested this, this change. You manifested this freedom. You manifested this. But you're still mourning it. Nine of Swords is grief card. Um, this is sleepless nights. This is being in your head about it. Still confused about it. This is why. Six of Wands. This goes along with the Seven of Wands. This is that victorious, um, saying the right thing at the right moment. This is that card of victory, the celebration. Wands are words. This is proclaiming basically the freedom, your freedom. And this is saying the truth and getting victory with that truth. There's that other three, three of wands. Like I said, and I'll go back to what I said earlier. There's conversations that people have had about you that God has heard. And I feel like this three of wands is there for two reasons. The, this is your spiritual family, angels, ancestors, guides, that is really talking, being there. This is part of that rescue mission of redirecting you, getting you where you need to be. And the second is those conversations that's about you. That God's listening to and God's going to take care of. Because here, and see I like this. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. And then we go to Two of Wands. This is Card of Connection. To this person that is here for you and has been here for you, where you show, they show up as King of Cups, King of Pentacles, which has emotional support, spiritual support, financial support, and like they're working behind the scenes. That person, there's that connection. Because they keep being... They keep showing themselves available to you. And the reason they're doing that is because they're trying to gain your trust. They're really looking to show you every time. Every time. I said this in like five readings ago yesterday. As soon as the sun cards pulled, the reading's over. The reading's over. This person that has been helping you and that keeps, like, they'll appear as one thing, and whatever way you need it, that's called they're saving space for you. And do you see what the outcome is? Happiest card in the deck, the sun. So you're being protected, you're being guided, that you were sent a personal rescue mission. So whichever direction you're going, focus on that direction and get to it. Because this connection with this person, I mean, you're going to have the clarity of the conversations that are about you, good and bad. That truth and clarity. And I mean, I even feel like spiritual conversations. And physical ones where... There, people are talking just to be talking. But this connection results in, voila, happiest card in the deck. Okay. Or the collective sign of Sagittarius. This is your general message for March 4th to March 6th. Love and light.